Whether you were new to streaming or you've been streaming for quite some time, I've got something that would help you set up your stream with just one software that is free. Join me today as we talk about the different parts and key features of the Xbit Gamecaster. Once you've downloaded and installed the Xbit Gamecaster, open it and you will be prompt to choose where you want to stream or just use an Xbit account that you can link to your current streaming platform. If you haven't downloaded the software, I suggest you to use my link on the description and get instant 10% discount when you use the code KANGDUPET for a licensed Xbit account. After signing in, you will be greeted with the main interface. The interface is very user-friendly, giving you all the options essential for your streaming needs. Like any other streaming application, the biggest part of this is where it will preview what will be displayed on screen. While right under that, the option gives a quick access to scenes that you can switch between during gameplay, breaks, starting, or ending your stream. As a minimalist, I like how simple the layout is being offered by Xbit Gamecaster, where everything that you could possibly need is at the click of your fingertips. For someone that is not tech savvy and does not use editing software, Xbit Gamecaster has made it easier to customize layouts for new streamers or those who do not want to spend extra cash. Under their Themes tab, there is a wide variety of preloaded layouts that even has animated graphics depending on the games you play. Once you have selected your desired theme, editing respective scenes are easily done by clicking each scene. This brings you to a pop-out window that allows the addition of widgets, text, images, camera sources, and etc. Everything is easily laid out for the convenience of the user. While many of us don't use editing software to create our layout, we have an idea of how the games we want to play look like. Making it more precise, Xbit has added editor background under the settings of editing the scenes. This has games ranging from the latest esports titles, FPS to MMORPG games, allowing a more accurate depiction of how the layout would look like in-game without the need to run it while editing. Aside from the themes they offer, they also give you an opportunity to save your profiles depending on your use. This keeps everything organized, neat, and very time efficient instead of having to set up every time you would stream. Once set up, on the lower left of the interface, you are able to choose your source for your games, capture cards, display, or application, and a separate option for your camera source. Xplit has managed to make the interface look neat by including the microphone and system sound options here. Moving to the right-hand part of the interface, Xbit included the streamer dashboard by adding the stream event, stream chat columns, and of course, a designated area for a stream runtime, number of concurrent viewers, and an easily accessible settings option. On the stream events column, activities on your stream will show, some of which will be shares, likes, followers, subs, bits, stars, host rates… Am I missing something? <laughs> Right under that is the stream chat where you can read all the messages instead of having to open another browser. Additionally, clicking on the online and offline status will show your CPU usage, memory usage, bitrate, and current stream output. On the settings, Xbit was kind enough to make the options concise, ranging from streaming online, recording offline, the options for devices you hooked up to your PC, certain HRD hotkeys, advanced settings, languages, account linking, and tipping. If you are a new streamer and you aren't familiar with the settings, Xbit has an automatic option where it adjusts your stream settings accordingly to the capabilities of your PC. Well, if you have been streaming for quite some time already, you'd know how to tinker with the different selections here. Another option that makes this offer amazing is the ability to split the microphone audio and system sounds into separate tracks making it easier to edit highlights for those that do so. Enabling the in-game HRD is a powerful tool for those that do not have a multi-monitor setup as this gives them the opportunity to browse through their comments or stream activity while in-game. Default hotkey being control tab, this in-game HRD is only viewable for streamer and not the viewers. 
This can be used by preference as most gamers would prefer a multi-monitor display setup. And last but not the least, Estet has made donations easier by adding the tipping option wherein you would be able to add your PayPal address. So, there you have it! Those are just some of the key features I love about the Xbox Gamecaster. It is user-friendly and it has everything a streamer would need to jumpstart their streaming life. If there are other features that you like about this, feel free to share them on the comment below. Again, this is Kat and don't forget to use my link on the description and use my code to get 10% discount on any Xbox products. Bye-bye!